Alright everyone, welcome back to the last sitting of Let's Play Resident Evil 3. Nemesis. <coughs> Fuck, my throat won't let me do it. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's get our shit. What did I have? Healing item, I think? Yeah, healing item. Alright. Let's get our magnum ready. Now, this, this game has some form of timer at the end of it. It's not actually a timer, it's more along the lines of a distance meter of the nuke. So, let's go. Alright, there should be magnum ammo somewhere. Here we go. Like, I really need more. Nemesis is already going to be fucked with, uh... Uh, four rockets, yeah. Portable radar receiver. You got the radar receiver. Alright. All right. The lid is locked. So, there we go. You're still alive. Such persistence. Nikolai? Sorry, but there's no escape from you. to negotiate with them. So, you, you want to get out of here alone? Is that your plan? I made certain not the other supervisors to run. Since I'm the only one who knows to really have it, I'll have more value when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. They want to be eliminated for reasons of their own. The amount is modest. But there is a war to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. Although I'm sure I'll miss you, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye? You can either accept death with dignity or die with regret. It's entirely up to you. Now... With the rocket launcher, we could kill him, and I actually think he's supposed to live. Jill, what happened? Carlos, Nikolai beat us to the chopper. I guess this is it then. But I don't want to die in a place like this. Well, if you're lucky, it this should be isn't like over yet. Three. I'm not giving up, Jill. We still have a chance. All right, that's the spirit. You're not being an asshole anymore. That's good. All right, anyway, I see a little hidden cutscene. If you go out... I think you might actually have to do this. Go out, come back in. And somebody's going to be on the radio for us, asking for Jill. Let's listen closely. Jill! This is... your name. No shit. Who could it be? It doesn't matter. That we should voice. tell him where we are. That voice. It sounds so familiar. I love how his hand looked like That's it was backwards it. We there. We gotta find a way out of here. Now! It looked like his thumb was on the other side. Alright. Warning. Missile attack. Confirmed. There we Warning. go. Missile attack confirmed. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuated. Right now that radar receiver is going to come in handy because we're going to be able to tell what the hell we're supposed to do. Now Carlos has better get his ass out of here or else he's going to be trapped in that fucking doorway for a while. Go down the ladder.
there's shotgun ammo on that side, but I'm not going to use the shotgun. By the way, dead T103 on the right, on the left here. Uh, I, I left you guys at least a couple seconds to look at it, but it's a dead T103, which is the same model tyrant that Mr. X is. Fucking A, that's loud! Alright, first we got a battery A. One, two, and three. Alright. You gotta push them obviously in that order. Check in, sister. We have a fucking laser cannon. Alright. Now we have to push it. Thank you for telling me, generic William Shatner computer voice. Alright. Also, there's another dead T-103. And it's X form. I mean, it's R form. Battery 1. There we go. Nemesis. One last time. Son of a bitch. Now he doesn't even look terrifying. I just look like a piece of That's why you have to do enough damage to Nemesis in order for that to work. Also, I was being quiet so you could listen to that awesome music. And the bastard's still alive. And I just realized I have the magnum equipped, so this is gonna look funny. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, we're totally gonna leave. Fuck that! Exterminate this bitch! I 
And that was actually six shots. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Now this ending, I believe, is the can like it will. It, I don't think it's the canonical ending, but it's the ending that makes the most sense, in my opinion. Elevator control panel. We operate it because in this case, somebody's actually going to save you. Unlike in the Jill and Carlos ending, where somebody, or literally just this random helicopter. I, believe, I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure this random helicopter Jill, pilot. Jill, like, Chopper's coming in. Yes. Or Carlos, but no, I don't remember Carlos piling it. I'm pretty sure some random guy is piling the helicopter, which this makes more sense than that. So I'd rather have this than that. Plus, it's a good old familiar face. died on Nemesis, other, that other Nemesis, that, that was pretty much it. I didn't actually die, I, well, oh yeah, the Hunters, they, they fucked, they fucked me over. But, uh, that wasn't even that bad. That actually was, like, probably the shortest Resident Evil game I've done. Well, in terms of the fact that I am recording these with in unlimited time, so... Without unlimited time, this would have took in far long. Like it would have been, it wouldn't have took in far longer. It would just have took in. May it would have took in more than it would have. It would have been at least double the amount of parts that it's gonna be. It, it would have been at least triple. I don't. I can't really guess, but this has probably been the shortest uh, Resident Evil LP I've done. Zero was supposed to be short, but it didn't turn out like that. But either way, I probably should talk about. I I, I made an, I talked about this earlier, but uh, a, after this, um, I was originally gonna do Digital Devil Saga. That idea has been scrapped. I'm sorry if anyone was looking forward to that. I don't know if you were, but I said screw it. Uh, I didn't really care about it. Uh, I, I can't do it for some re for reasons. So ah, Shinji Mikami. There we go. And uh, so I'm gonna be doing. 
other another RPG, but I'm also going to be remaking Devil May Cry. Doing a remake LP of my Devil May Cry, so that's going to be awesome. Because I wanted to do that for a while. I wanted to. I, I didn't like a replay doesn't suit it. A uh, uh, three three minute three hours thirty eight minutes and fourteen seconds of I'm skipping cutscenes and uh, didn't save as often. I probably couldn't got. I probably could have gotten at least a C, maybe a B. Maybe. If I didn't use F8 sprays either. So technically I could have gotten a C there, but uh, as I said, I suck at the game. I got two more costumes. Hooray! I think I have every costume now, and I still don't remember where the fucking boutique is, so that, that's wonderful. I should really look that up sometime, but I, I'm, I don't show costumes anyway. Please forgive me, Claire. Chris Redfield has just finished his letter with his signature phrase. After he removes his sunglasses, a lady walks by with it, by him with light steps. She looks about the same age as Claire, he thinks. A short time later, Chris discovered that his sister was looking for him, but was caught. And that's where Code Veronica kicks in. And we're saving on that one, just in case this recording fucks up. And I'm also gonna... I'm not going to demonstrate mercenaries because there's no real need to, but I'm going to show you Jill's epilogue. I'm not going to put up all the epilogues because you have to beat the game eight times, I believe. So, I'm just going to show you Jill's epilogue. But I, I will tell you that all of these people here have survived the uh, Raccoon City incident. Jill, Chris, um, Hunk, Ada, Leon... Jill, Chris, Barry... Hunk, Leon, uh, Claire, uh, Ada, Ada, and I believe it's either Ch and and Bar I, did I say Barry? Either way, Chris, Jill, Chris, Jill, Barry, Ada, M Hunk, Claire, Leon, and I believe Sherry has one as well. It's either Sherry, it ha no, it's Sherry. After escaping the city, Jill set out to join Chris Redfield. However, all she found on was an empty hideout of Chris's. On the floor was Chris's knife. Jill left without hesitation because she firmly believes that Chris is still alive. She will search for him until she finds him, then they can go and put an end to Umbrella. I'm not going to be beating the game eight times. Just thought I'd let you know. You're better off just going, just know that all those people survived. And you can also won't struggle to find a video of somebody who has all of them anyway, so I'm not gonna bother with it. And uh I'll show you mercenaries. Uh no oh, wait, th this one doesn't have any. This one this is Operation Mad Jackal. Basically what it is is you gotta go to one objective point and just survive, but you have limited ammo capacity. Like, first off you can play as these three then I believe you can get, I believe you can get, uh, Jill and Chris, I don't exactly remember, I think, or it might just be these three, I don't entirely remember, but I'm pretty sure you probably could get Chris, but, I probably should have showed you Mikhail, because, uh, Mikhail is actually one of the, definitely the better characters to play as, and when I was scrolling through there, you might have noticed that Nikolai only has a knife. I'm skipping that because I just don't feel like reading it or listening to it. You have to head to that room in a matter of a minute 48 seconds. Now, for those of you who know this generation of Resident Evil's mercenaries, you get points for killing people. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to kill people. There isn't any time extensions or stupid uh, combo... This is, uh, the Desert Eagle, by the way. I wanted the... I could have gotten this, but it never happened. You got three seconds per headshot, um... And as you kill people, it's one more second. Or it's just three seconds every time, I'm not really sure. Either way, you really don't want to waste all your ammo because Nemesis does show up in this mode. Also, because Nemesis does show up in this mode and you have a limited amount of items, but you can also save uh, people. 
You're all, you also can save people that'll give you items like bullets or F8 sprays, um, and also sometimes time bonuses, but sometimes those bonus... And as you chain kills together, you get more points, I remember that. It, it, it's, uh, it's not necessarily like double points, it's more on the lines of just adding together. But there's three different versions of this. There's uh, three different difficulty levels, I should say. But uh, I will say the hardest to play as is Nikolai because uh, he has a knife and a gun that holds that has 15 bullets. So when you run into Nemesis, you're basically fucked. Uh, I don't know. I, this is not how you're really supposed to do it. I'm just showing it off like I did and uh, did with the EX battle in Resident Evil 2. But anyway, and I'm um, also, yeah, the Devil May Cry remake, as well as the, uh, Tales of Symphonia, as I, I, I actually have it in my channel description, um, Tales of Symphonia and the Devil May Cry remake are gonna be going up. I'm not sure if I wanna do the Devil May Cry remake first, or, which I'm probably gonna do, I'll probably do that. And then, 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 also, update on God Hand. I know not many, not, I don't, I know not everyone watches this, but, um, a little update for God Hand, um, little update for God Hand watchers, um, God Hand only gets updated when I feel like it, and I'm trying to get a guest commentator in for parts so it doesn't seem as boring. So, I only, it's not supposed to be the main primary LP, so I might do, I might start up, like, Ari Code Veronica next, like, uh, so Tales of, well, actually, after this, Tales of Symphonia will be the primary, well, well, I, I haven't decided, but it'll be either Tales of Symphonia or Devil May Cry remake that are gonna be the primary LPs. And that, if it is Devil May Cry, as soon as that's done, Tales of Symphonia will start, and I'll probably start, uh... And I'll probably... And I'll probably start, uh... I can't remember. I, I'm having a really bad brain fart right now. And I'll probably finish that, probably start Tales of Symphonia. I might start uh, Code Veronica, I'm not really sure. I, I don't usually function that well when I have to. I don't really function when I ha when I do two, two games at once. I really don't function that well when I do two really long games at once. I should have just took in the hit there. Yeah, well, because, like, I probably should stop this, but I'm just gonna wait until we get to the bus place where Nemesis drops, and then that'll... And you get miniature seconds. God, Carlos, your aim is retarded. But, yes, the Desert Eagle has a... This gun has an in increased chance of headshots. No one... Um, I can't show off the actual... I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I'm just fucking doing whatever I feel like. Also, hit detection is bull. Also, the reload animation is cheap. As I said before, this is not exactly what you're going to want to do if you're ever going to play this. Though, I will. You do get points for... What you can do with the points that you get in this is actually quite simple. That's why I'm waiting for me to die. Which I will probably when the nemesis shows up because I'm already low on supplies and ammunition. And I don't have the rocket launcher so I can't really do much.
Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Either way, even if you die or you succeed, you end the game, you get graded, and you get a sum amount of money. I always get an E-rank. Now, these are stuff you can get. You can get the Gatling gun. It has infinite ammo. A rocket launcher with infinite ammo. Or infinite ammo for all weapons. Or a, an assault rifle with infinite ammo. Now, I would probably, if I if I were you and I were playing this game and you're planning to take down Nemesis fights, I would, sh I would not bother shooting for infinite ammo. I would just, uh, I would just, uh, because you can get that after you get all the uh, uh, cases on another game. So just shoot for either the Gatling gun or the rocket launcher. Uh, or, because this, the Gatling gun is basically an even powerful version of the assault rifle. And the rocket launcher rapes Nemesis really easily, so I recommend either getting the, I recommend getting either of those. Well, anyway, now that we're done with that, um, I guess uh, I'll see you guys next time in whatever the hell I feel like doing. It'll probably be in the video video title. Maybe not. I don't know. Either way, peace out.